Hello everybody out there, welcome to another weekly Take 5 video where we take about 5 minutes to look at an important computer skill or tip. This is Mark Mannering from Class Training and in this session we're going to be looking at how we can quickly format a Word document with styles. As you can see here we've got some uh, dummy text here, lots of text as we scroll down there but if uh, you look closely you, you, can, you can see that we've got some subheadings so there for example is uh, introduction to report, there's background to report, scrolling down we've got latest uh, figures and so on and we want to use styles to quickly apply the formatting to those headings but also we can use styles to quickly make changes to the styles once it's applied if we want to make some edits or changes to the actual formatting of the subheading. Now most of you will know that you can use the Format Painter in Word to uh, copy manually uh, the formatting from one paragraph to another but that doesn't allow you to quickly change uh, the formatting and also uh, we want to use styles because we want to be able to use those to create um, table of contents as well and also next time when we save this as a template we'll, we'll have those styles there so that we can quickly format the next version of this particular report or document uh, whatever it is. Now to look at the styles that are already in this particular document there's a, uh, a button on the toolbar there or the uh, ribbon and it's called the styles uh, button we just click that and on the right hand side there you can see we've got the standard default uh, styles in this particular document already created by Word. Now most of you will know about the uh, styles already created by Word, the other styles, the default styles and you can see up in the ribbon here we've got Heading 1, Heading 2 will be underneath there as well and uh, they are styles created by Word that you could use but we want to create our own so that we can uh, apply our own formatting to those. Just hit the escape key there to cancel that. Now one quick way to create a style and apply it to the other um, headings in this example is to first of all just pick one of the headings or paragraphs that you want to apply the style with and you manually format that heading to what you want. So for example background to report so we click out here in the margin or selection bar and once it's selected we can manually format this one particular heading. I'm going to make it bold italics, make it red and just click in the paragraph. We'll go to our borders dialog box, we'll just put a bottom border and there we have it and that will do for the time being for our subheadings. Now to create the style name or the actual style from that formatted text we highlight all that text again in the selection bar and we right click on the formatted text come up to styles in the shortcut menu and click on save selection as a new quick style. This is the uh, shortcut. Click on that it comes up asking me for the name of the style and I'll just put in here my subheading. Now you can name it whatever you like obviously but keep in mind the hierarchy of your document maybe you've got things like main title, subheading, important point and so on and try and maintain a hierarchy so people know how the styles relate to each other. If we click OK it applies the style to the selected uh, paragraph but also you can see it listed on the right hand side there my subheading. Now to format or apply that style, I should say, to the other um, headings, it's just a matter of going to the particular uh, paragraph. You just click inside the paragraph, that's all we need to do to make sure the cursor is flashing there. And we go over to the style name itself and we click and that applies it to that particular paragraph. Scrolling down, we can do the same thing. We can click in latest figures here. And now just a little shortcut, instead of going over to the style list again, we can press the F4 key, the function 4 key across the top of the keyboard and in Word that's a keyboard shortcut, some of you might know, to repeat the last step I did which in this case is to apply the style. Come down to the other uh, subheading we have here and click and go F4 again, come down and just by clicking in the paragraph and pressing the F4 key on the keyboard we can quickly apply the style. Now what I've just done here in the blink of an eye is to remove all of that uh, formatting to all of those headings and you can still see the subheading or my subheading style list on the right hand side here. Just want to show you another quick way to apply the style once it's created. As most of you would know you can firstly highlight the text from the selection bar there or margin and by holding down the control key I can now click other text which is not uh, next to each other come down and keep the control key held down, select latest figures and so on and I can see that all of those paragraphs are selected and just by clicking on the particular style once it then applies them 
all at once. Now here's where the real benefit of styles comes in. What we want to do is to change the formatting of all of those headings because we don't like, for example, the, the red colour. We don't like the italics in there. We want to make a change across the board. We don't want to do it manually. Also you can see in this example the spacing, the uh, text is very close to each other. So the paragraph here or the heading is very close to the text after it and the text before it. So we'd like to put some more spacing above and below without pressing enters or entering hard returns and again we don't want to do it manually for each of those headings. So the quick way to change the style is to first of all select just one of the examples. So we select this example and we make the manual change that we want. So for example we take off the italics, we'll make them all, uh, we'll make it blue. Well we're going to make them all blue. And then we also want to apply some formatting or spacing I should say above and below this particular paragraph. So again we just right click to go to the shortcut, paragraph, and we want about 12 points before or above each of those headings and about 6 points below it. Click OK and you can see or preview even though it's applied to that one uh, example we can see the actual change that we want. Now you notice the other headings are still applied with the same formatting that's applied in the style itself. So now to update the style so that's reflected by the uh, selected or the manually applied uh, formatting we just highlight that uh, changed example, we right click again, go to styles and use the shortcut here, update my subheading to master selection. Click on that and then quickly find out what's happened. You can see all the styles have changed automatically, even on other pages in the document. Okay, so a useful tip there for you, try and apply styles into your own document. You'll save lots of time in first of all maintaining consistency in your formatting and then making changes to the formatting if you need to. Uh, look out for more Take 5 videos that we'll have available, also our courses, webinars and training manuals for style on uh, classtraining.com.au. This is Mark Mannering signing off, uh, we'll see you again next time, thanks a lot, bye.